a question that comes up a lot from students, how do you really feel when a student takes the MCAT multiple times? I have no problem with a student taking it multiple times. I think sometimes you have to take it to just get over the nervousness uh, before you can get your real store, so to speak. Um, so I have no problem if they've taken it uh, a second time. If they want to take it a third time, that's fine. Um, what is important, though, that there, we, we need to see that there's been some change, um, hopefully an improvement in those scores. But even if the score does not improve, uh, what they should understand is that most medical schools, including institutions like Hopkins, will use the best score from a single test date. So there's no penalty. Now, if someone takes it eight times, and I've seen that, mm -hmm. um, then you have to wonder what else is going on there. So it does so. raise a bit of a red flag if you see it right. too many times. Right, if you see it too many times. But, you know, two times, even three times, it, it's, it's not an issue for us at all. And Excellent. I think that's pretty typical of most medical schools. Good, good, very good. And I just want to clarify one thing you said. You said that at Johns Hopkins you look at the, uh, the best score on any single test state. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. That's correct. So if they've taken it multiple times, um, well, even twice, mm -hmm. and the second score actually goes down, the composite score goes down compared to the first one, we will use the first test date. Um, even though there may be individual scores that vary slightly and may be higher on the second one, but something has brought it down overall, we'll use their overall score, whichever is highest. And if that was from the first administration, that's the one that we will use in calibrating um, the, the uh, students' performances. Excellent. Good. Thank you for the clarification.